Hello guys, this is the second video on the topic squares and squares root from uh, Zolvo Elani. And uh, in this video, I am going to tell you few more properties of squares and squares roots. Okay, so uh, today's first property is any square number can be represented as sum of two consecutive natural numbers. Okay, and uh, here are a few examples like uh, we have a number let's say 16 okay 16 can be represented as 4 square okay and 16 can also be represented as sum of two consecutive natural number consecutive natural number okay like 16 is always 10 plus 6 or the uh, 9 plus 7 or the 8 plus 8 or 7 plus 9 like this way okay so uh, I will discuss this case later okay let's take an odd number first okay and uh, I'm taking an odd number this is 3 3 squared it is 9 Okay, so 9 can be written as two consecutive natural numbers sum like 5 plus 4. Okay, and take another odd number which is 5. So 5 squared is 25 and 25 can be written as uh, 12 plus 13 which is two consecutive number. Okay, so what, how can you relate 5 and 3? There is a relation between 5 and 3. 5 is always 3 square plus 1 by 2. 5 is 10 by 2, so 3 square 9 plus 1 by 2. And 4 is always 8 by 2, which is 3 square minus 1 by 2. Similarly, here 12 is 5 square minus 1 by 2. 13 is 5 square plus 1 by 2. Okay, so if we talk about number square numbers and which is perfect square of an odd number, then for any square number, square number which is a square of odd number, let's say n is odd number. So n square is always equal to n square minus 1 plus 2 plus n square plus 1 plus 2 okay and here this number is a natural number and this number is also natural number okay and if n is even if n is even then this number is not natural number it will be decimal it will come in decimal and it will also come in decimal okay in case of odd numbers these two numbers are natural numbers and in case of even numbers these two numbers are in decimal form okay and the proof is quite simple you can add these two numbers adding these two numbers will be n square equals to n square minus 1 plus n square plus 1 divided by 2 which is 2n square by 2 so n square is n square it is simply uh, it is a simple phenomena here you can see okay so moving on to our uh, second property which is this product of any two natural numbers not any two let's say two natural numbers in which there lies only one natural number okay so let's take three numbers as this 2 3 and 4 okay so square of 3 is 9 and 9 can always be written as 4 into 2 plus 1 okay Product of these numbers 
plus 1 is 9. 4 2s are 8 plus 1. That is 9. Okay. You can take any three numbers like 8, 9, and 10. So 9 square is 81. This into this is 80. So 80 plus 1 is 81. Okay. Another example, let's take some bigger number like uh, 9, 10, and 11. 10 square is 100. So 11 into 9 is 99 plus 1, that is 100. Okay, this is a simple trick and this is easy to remember. Okay, so this is one property and the next property by which we can prove this property is uh, one of the most important properties in algebra or in any type of mathematics. This is one of the most important property. Okay, the property is this like uh, there is a number which is a let's say there is a number a okay so and there is another number b so a squared minus b squared square of first number minus square of second number is always equal to a plus b into a minus b okay and we can prove it by this multiplying a into a then a into b so a squared minus a b then plus b a minus b square so these two are cancelled minus a b plus b a so the answer is a square minus b square so lhs is equal to lhs so this is this formula is proved so always a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b Okay, so if you have any number, let's say you have subtract 25 and 60. Okay, so 25 is 5 square and this is 4 square. So 5 plus 4 into 5 minus 4. So 9 into 1, that is 9. So the difference between these two numbers is 9. Okay. So this is this is the uh, one of the most important properties in algebra. So moving on to our next property, which is this: the sum of consecutive odd numbers is always the square of some number, and that some number is equal to number of numbers added. Okay, uh, let's take an example that. Let's take one odd number. So we have one odd, odd number one. Okay. So one is square of one. Fine. Let's say two odd numbers. One plus three equals four. There are two numbers. So two square is four. Let's say one plus three plus five. Three numbers. Three square is nine. One plus three plus five plus seven. 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers of 4 squared is 16 and similarly you can go to anywhere like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and there are 5 numbers of 5 squared is 25. So this is a useful property, very useful property you can say and uh, you can prove it by using the same formula of like summation and squeeze this is very easy so if you have a number 1 plus 2 there are let's say 50 numbers here 1 2 and so on 50 numbers here so what is the summation of these numbers that is of course square of 50 square of 50 is 2500 square of 5 square of 10 Okay, so these numbers is sum of seven is twenty five hundred. So you can use this formula by for calculating large summation uh, series of odd numbers. Okay, so moving on to our next properties, 
and uh, i think these are very useful properties and uh, a very important things in square of different numbers is the patterns they make there are lots of and lots and lots of patterns in case of different numbers and their squares okay and uh, the first pattern is for the square of numbers like uh uh oh yes yeah. 111 111 and etc okay so let's take few numbers like square of 1 then square of 11 then square of 121 then 111111111 what are the squares let's have a look here so we have square of 1 is 1 square of 11 is 1 2 then 1 square of 1 2 3 2 1 2 this is 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 this is 1 2 3 4 5 4 3 2 1 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 4 3 2 one. This is a uh, very interesting patterns in case of squares of these number. These patterns are really useful in some cases for remembering the square of numbers. Okay, so there there is another pattern in squares like if there are lots of zeros and repeating digits. Like there is a pattern uh, for number of zero as uh, we have seen in the previous one one square but instead of 11 we put a zero here okay so instead of triple one we put zero here okay 1 11 3 one then 4 one and in between zero okay so th for these numbers there is also a pattern One square is one, okay. One zero square. What was the square for eleven? That is, that was one two one. So if we just put two zeros here, okay. And what was the pattern for triple one? That was one two three two one. So we put zeros here. Similarly for this one two three four three two one, we put zeros here. So this is the square of one zero one zero one zero one. This is the square of one zero one zero one, and so on. Okay, there are lots of interesting patterns if repeating numbers and zeros are included. You can make your own also by understanding that. Okay, so moving on. So this was. Uh, Mm, all the properties you can need uh, in your examinations and uh, in other computer examinations. So this is all for today, and uh, for the next lecture, we will be learning how to find squares and square roots of a number in different ways. Okay, thank you for watching this.